Balancing Valves Why do we need balancing valves? When the system is unbalanced, water takes the easiest path through the system, where the resistance is lowest. Result, terminal units, such as radiators, fan coils, air handling units, chilled beams, and radiant panels that are closest to the pump are provided with an excess water flow. Units that are farther away from the pump receive insufficient flow. When balancing a system, flow distribution is changed so that critical circuits can be provided with the required flow. When this is ensured, the whole system is in balance. When the system is balanced, water flow can be set to design requirements to all parts of the circuit. Results Good thermal comfort since all users receive the required energy. No unnecessary energy consumption. Pumps are operating with sufficient flow and the heat loss from the piping system, especially in uninhabited areas of the building such as basements, hallways, and staircases, is minimized. In many cases, noise generation is avoided. Summary. Balancing valves help achieve design operating conditions by managing the flow of water through the system to ensure each part of the system is supplied with the correct amount of water. What is balancing a system? When a system is not balanced throughout, the flow rate will be inconsistent. The differences can occur due to different piping lengths, the layout of the system, or different needs of each terminal in the system. No balancing valves will result in hot and cold areas in the system. When balancing valves are installed, the correct flow rate can be adjusted so the system has the correct flow rates to each area. A system with balancing valves allows for controlled flow and balanced heat. The consideration for flow measurement and regulation arises from the fact that it is impossible to change pipe size or pipe configuration alone to achieve a balanced system. In most distribution systems, delivering the correct flow rate to each individual terminal can be a problem. This is due to the different level of resistance throughout the system. Incorrect flow rates in different zones of the building may lead to energy wastage or variable levels of occupier comfort. Installations that have been balanced correctly will obtain the following results. Correct flow in boilers and cooling systems. Correct flow distribution throughout the system. Optimum flow in both heating and cooling systems. Equal flow to each floor. Summary. Balancing is a practical technique for setting systems to meet design requirements. Balancing helps overcome a wide range of system conditions where pipe sizing and pipe configurations alone cannot set a system in balance. Benefits of balancing. When systems have been installed and balanced correctly, the benefits will include efficient operation of control devices to achieve energy savings, room temperatures will be optimized throughout the building, lower fuel bills for the building occupier, Static Commissioning Valve Types Terminology Static Commissioning Once set, the valve remains in that position. DRV Double Regulating Valve VODRV Variable Orifice Double Regulating Valve FODRV Fixed Orifice Double Regulating Valve The valve can perform two functions. Isolation Regulation Regulation can be achieved simply by changing the valve setting or validating by a provision for measurement. Setting. The valve possesses a means of locking the set position. Static balancing valves. The three main types of static balancing valves can be identified by the different design styles. Double regulating valve. Variable orifice double regulating valve. Fixed orifice double regulating valve. Double regulating valves. Key features, can isolate, can regulate, application considerations, the valve cannot measure flow, applications, where manual control is considered appropriate for the degree of flow management required. Variable orifice balancing valves. A variable orifice double regulating valve is designed to permit measurement of the flow by measuring the differential pressure across the seat of the valve. Therefore, the CVS changes each time the setting is altered. The way to recognize a variable orifice double regulating valve is to observe the position of the text measuring points. These are situated on either side of the regulating disc to measure flow across the valve mechanism. 
it can be characterized by the feature of measuring the flow rate across the seat of the valve. The measuring accuracy of the valve is affected adversely by this principle. The valve is accurate plus or minus 15%, dependent on the opening position. The valve is unidirectional. The direction of the flow arrow on the valve body should be respected. The setting procedure is a time-consuming process to correctly set the valve at the balancing stage. Fixed Orifice Balancing Valves Fixed orifice double regulating valves can be identified by a fixed orifice measuring device cast into the internal body of the valve. The CVS of these valves is fixed. The pressure differential is called a measurement signal. The flow rate through this valve is calculated from the measurement signal. The accuracy of this type of valve is typically plus or minus 5%, dependent on the opening position. The valve needs upstream and downstream straight pipe lengths to measure accurately. The valve must be installed with respect to the flow direction body arrow. It cannot be set if fitted in a reverse flow situation. The setting procedure is quick, easy, and accurate. The flow can be read from an electronic flow meter with the correct CVS for all valves installed in the system. For the valve to operate accurately, straight lengths of pipe both upstream and downstream of the valve are required. Another type of fixed orifice balancing valve is the Venturi. A Venturi fixed orifice double regulating valve uses a Venturi profile instead of a flat plate orifice, employed in generating a measurement signal. This provides less turbulence and significantly reduces loss of pressure and improves signal strength. Conclusion Balancing valves help ensure that all components in a hydronic system achieve the required design flow. There are three types of manual balancing valves. Variable orifice, fixed orifice, fixed venturi orifice. Fixed orifice valves are more accurate than variable orifice valves. Apollo Flow Controls will be introducing a fixed orifice balancing valve in September of 2018.